So I get to the airport and I'm like in my backpacker backpack. Like I'm used to South America where I've got a bunch of backpackers. We're all chill. No, it, there are like beautiful honeymooners everywhere. Hi guys, my name is Shayla and I do these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and I make these videos every Wednesday to inspire you and challenge you to create the life that you want to live. This week, I want to talk to you about doing Santorini on a budget and I want to tell you about it because I did it. So Santorini is like this big honeymooning spot. It's where you go with your new husband. Honestly, it's like a really expensive place. So doing it on a budget is kind of unheard of. I get to the airport, grab my bag, the hostel gives me a list, like get on this bus, get on this bus. And I'm like, I don't even know where buses are. Right there, there's a bus and it is leaving in like two seconds. And when I switch buses, I must have looked like I had no idea what I was doing. Somebody's like, where are you going? And I was like, Perisa. And they were like, you need to stop that bus right there. Like stop the bus, just stop the bus that's moving right now and tell them that you need to get on. So that's what I did. And then I arrive at the hostel, the youth hostel, Anna, and it's eight euro a night. I was there for three nights, so I paid 24 euro for the three nights. So a hostel is like my favorite way to travel. It is just a way to meet a ton of people and it's super cheap. Okay friends, this is what a hostel looks like. Not scary, super fun. You have your own locker. But when I first got there, I was like, am I getting too old for hostels? But when you travel, nobody cares about your age. It just, it does, it's irrelevant. A friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend told me to go across the street to Atlas Pizzeria and say hey to Dave. I'm looking for Dave. He's like, oh, I'm Dave. Hey Dave, Steve sent me. And he's like, ah, Steve, Steve's great. How do you know Steve? I don't, don't know Steve. But a friend of a friend of a friend is Steve's and told me to say hey. He's like, all right, well, great. What do you want to drink? ATVs were something that I was told I had to do. Do not book your ATVs online because the cheapest I could find was 35 euro a day. The budget traveler and me went to three different moto places and the best deal that I found was for three days for 35 euro. Right now we're at five euro for the bus, 25-ish for the hostel, and now 35 for the ATV and that's for three days. The next morning I woke up to work a little bit at the pizzeria again. <laughs> I'm sitting there doing my work and all of a sudden this guy with a California hat comes in and Dave the owner and Tessa just start heckling him. Yeah, you're from California, blah, 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 start talking to him. And he's like, yeah, I'm going on a hike from Fira to Ira. And I was like, when are you going? Who are you going with? What are you doing? When are you doing that? Can I come? Basically just invited myself along, which he seemed fine with. And I was like, look, it's too hot to hike. I think I'm gonna pass. And everybody was like, yeah, it's way too hot to hike. Let's all get ATVs and ATV around the island. So that's all we did. So we had this quad squad, we called ourselves, I called us, zooming around the island. So we took the ATVs from the hostel all the way to Fira. Fira. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Pretty. Off to the next town! It is a hot one out here, folks. Yeah. It's amazing. I would not recommend going to Ia yeah, for sunset. Like, I just, I would say don't do it. Thousands of people, three people deep, waiting to take a picture of the sunset. Dave told me to go to the lighthouse, which is on the southern part of the island, and Ia's on the northern part, so it's literally the opposite side. It's probably an hour from one side to the other. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go. And they're like, well, we'll come to the lighthouse. And I was like, sunset's in like an hour and a half, and I think it's a little, it's a little bit more than an hour to get there. So I'm gonna lead everybody there. Like, if I miss the sunset, I'm not upset about it, but if I'm leading you there, and you miss the sunset, then I'm gonna feel really bad about it. And inside, I was just like, going as fast as I could and like super nervous that I wasn't gonna get there. And I keep pulling off being like, here's a good lookout. Do you guys just wanna stop here and watch the sunset so we don't miss it? And they were chilling. They were taking pictures along the way and they kept just being like, no, let's go to the, let's go to the lighthouse. They got us there in time and it was perfect. This lighthouse is a hidden gem for sunsets. And then the next day we found one beach which is called mm, Mesa Pigadia. P-I-G-A-D-I-A. -I -A. Go there. Don't follow your Google Maps, just follow the signs and it'll get you down this dirt road and it's like, it says cave just etched on the side of the cliff. I was scared, like I'm from Minnesota. I'm not used to the waves, I can't read the waves. I don't know if I'm gonna get crushed by them. There was literally no waves and I was like terrified that the cave was just gonna fill up with water and we were all gonna drown. We could touch, 
most of the time through the cave. So, it and it really wasn't, I mean, it was a very short cave. You guys were like, what do you mean you're not gonna go? Let's go, it's just a cave, come on. <laughs> it really was not as intense as I'm making it. I'm just a big baby when it comes to the ocean, so. And then, I knew that I was gonna be traveling by myself and I really wanted pictures of Santorini. I don't know why Santorini was like this amazing place to me, but it was, it was just somewhere that I really, really, I just had on this pedestal for some reason. So I was like, I need good photos in Santorini. So I asked somebody, where can I find a photographer? And so I got hooked up with this photographer, north to south. Please, if you're ever in Santorini, link up with her. Her and I are new like best friends. So I'm at these caves and I know that I have to go to take photos. And so I'm like trying to tell these guys that I need to go. So I'm like, all right guys, well I gotta go. And they're like, well, where are you going, where are you? And I was like, I just have to go to this, I didn't just, one guy knew what I was doing. And he's like, she's got a Tinder date. And I was like, I don't have a Tinder date. I just have to, I'm going to take photos. We took pictures on the ATV. We took pictures in the winery. We took pictures out in Fira and had an absolute blast. So along with that, like thinking that Santorini is this magical place, I decided that for one night I was gonna treat myself. Someone from the hostel was like, what? Is there no in between? You're going from like an $8 a night hostel to this super nice hotel. Can't you find something for like $50 a night for all the nights? No, no, I wanted to treat myself. Get to the desk and I've got this big backpack in front and this big backpack in back and they're like, uh, do you have a reservation? I was like, I do actually, I'm staying here. Here I am in my hotel. And I'm not used to being in a hotel. Like, this is unusual for me. I can't believe that I paid for a hotel, but I'm so excited. I've got air conditioning. I've got, I've got a fridge. And in my fridge, I've got a bottle of wine. And I'm gonna go watch the sunset in a minute with my bottle of wine. And the other thing is, is that I would go, I went to a restaurant for dinner and had grilled octopus. Oh my good. I don't even know that I like grilled octopus, but I was like, someone told me to get it. I'm not a foodie. This grilled octopus was so good. It was so good. But I walked in there and the guy was like, is it just you? It's like, yeah, it's just me. Oh, are you traveling alone? I was like, yes. <laughs> leave me alone and just give me some grilled octopus. Even like in the hotel, I got breakfast in the morning and he's like, I took, or just, yeah, one coffee, one coffee. I was like, yes, one coffee. But Santorini was incredible. It was more than I could have dreamed of. It's not somewhere that you need to wait for your honeymoon to go. You can do it on a budget. They have really cool hostels. Take the bus to get there. Wait to book your ATV until you get there and eat some euros for like 250 a euro. Those are my tips. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know anybody interested in going to Santorini and you want to share with them that they can go on a budget, share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you want, and I will see you all next week. Mwah.